welcome back to Pirate Studios. We all know about great high gain tones and crunch tones, but we don't hear a ton about clean tones. Today I'm going to show you my favorite clean tone, Hit It. Yeah, so I just put that together, I would say pretty quickly, but it actually took longer than you would think just because I wanted to make sure it sounded really good. And I'm not, I don't really write blues songs, even though I love playing blues on guitar. That's really my roots is I'm just a blues guy. But I can't, like I said, I can't really write anything uh, blues. So I just kind of made that up. Um, but yeah, so um, this amp is awesome. So it's my favorite, and it's, if I could have, I have, I pretty much have the amps that I could ever want, um, these back here, they're the, they're the three that I've used throughout my, pretty much my whole time I've ever played, as far as two amps, they're the three two amps that I've ever owned, um, but this is the only other one that I think that I would love to have. Now, that being said, this B-52 has a fantastic clean, and it I, I would say that it's probably just as good as this, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a real spring uh, reverb. I think it has, I think it has like a fake digital one. I, of course, it does have a spring reverb box, but there's something about it. It just, the spring reverb just isn't as good as this Princeton reverb. So over here, we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you um, what we got going here. So this is just stock um, default. You go over here and you drag it in and here it is. And sometimes I like to turn up the bass and sometimes I'll turn up the reverb a little bit, but pretty much that's it. So Chris Stapleton uses one of these amps, but I loved this amp before I knew that. I just, <laughs> it made sense later when I found that out why I like the song I Was Wrong so much and why I like his guitar tone so much because he's, he's pretty much using the same kind of pickup as this and he's using that. Now I, 
um, you can buy. He he makes. They have a custom Chris Stapleton speaker for this, and um, it's not, which is weird. It's not the same speaker that this one is. This one is actually the Jensen C10R, and it's a 10-inch speaker. Um, so, like I said, this this isn't doing anything. I, I haven't changed anything. These are the two mics in the same position as it is when you drag it over here, and I haven't touched the EQ, so it's just fantastic. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. So the thing about it and people, and that's why I thought about doing this video is that people just, everybody talks about high gain um, more than anything as far as what I've seen on the internet. So, um, which I love it too. I love it too. But um, this, I, I'm real picky about my clean. I, and, you know, everybody is, Everybody considers the Vox AC30 like the most sought after clean, which it is. I, I, I guess it is. I, I can't argue with that. But it's. I don't like those speakers. I don't. They don't sound as good as this Fender. They don't sound. Vox does not have a, the the clean that I like. It doesn't have doesn't have enough body. Doesn't have enough open, big, full bodiness. When you listen to it, even if you turn the reverb off of this, it's still got more body. Vox speakers, and, and I'm telling you, and I don't think it's just the speaker because, like I said, this B52 through this V30 cab sound, it, it's got tons of body, and it's got the same tons of body through that B52 stock speaker that I have. So it's, and it doesn't have, the EVH doesn't have that body. So, it's not just the speaker, so, um, but Fender, the twin reverb is like that too, and probably the, all, all those Fender amps have, have a body sound that, that you just really have to, really have to get to know, and you really gotta be a super nerd about it, like I am, and, and, you know, and the single cool does have a lot to do with it, um, that's that's what kind of clean I like. I, I prefer a single coil um, up here. Now, um, now it it the single coil doesn't have anything to do with that speaker of like the vintage or the uh, the v, VC uh, VC thirty. It's just kind of stale. It's but you know we're talking about I don't know. I, I would say we're talking about an impulse response. But why does this impulse response have more more body? So I don't know. Um, I would like to, I think I'll do a comparison video, Vox AC30 versus the Princeton Reverb through the same guitar, same pickup. And so maybe you can hear a, a better comparison. That's for another video. I don't, I didn't really plan to do that for this one. So, but yeah, I just like this body. It's, it's what, it's my go-to on my Tonex. It's the clean tone that I use on my Tonex, except it's a preset by IK Multimedia called Portable Clean. And uh, it is a Princeton Reverb and it just doesn't have the, the spring reverb. So let's listen to it again. I'm gonna turn the reverb off. You can really hear that clanging that that spring. That's so cool how they were able to, um, how they were able to um, get that. Now it's off. Just hitting the E string like that. You can hear how it's boo. It's just, it's just got a. Now, when you go to play lead, the higher you get, at least on this guitar, it's not as. It's got a more flat. 
I, I think flat is a good is a good way to put it. Like the Vox speakers, it's a good way to put it. Just and it's more flat like that, but. It's just got more butt. So, and then we're going to put a freaking overdrive on it because uh, we can't play blues and not have an overdrive. I'm going to turn that down. We're going to put that at five because I don't want it affecting the tone. <laughs> Turn that off. It's it makes it actually easier. Like it's it's easy to get an overdriven blues tone because of the overdrive pedal. But like I said, clean is just different. Now just like those that Morgan app by Neural DSP, I listened to it and it sounded like a box to me. Just like the Tone King Imperial, really I almost bought that plug-in actually, and then I played um, I played through a Neural Amp Modeler version of it and. Those speakers sound like a box to me. They don't have that, they don't have that fender tone. Now let's check out the portable clean since we're on here. And um, I want you to hear, I want you to hear, hear it. The, this is, this comes with the tone X stuff, so. Yeah, I guess, uh, there it is. It's actually not as good as just the regular one, so, but it's IK Multimedia and it's the same, uh, amps. probably uh, actually just go ahead and just freaking probably use try to get the uh, Princeton reverb just like from <laughs> Yeah, if you want to get that Chris Stapleton thing. This wasn't meant to be a long video. I just wanted you to check it out because so far that seems that right there, that capture. I've tried print some reverbs on uh, like Neural Amp Modeler, and uh, the ones I've tried and the ones I've found, they still don't sound as good as this one. Um, I've even tried to make an impulse response taken from this, tried to EQ match. 
and it still doesn't sound as good as this. So um, I highly recommend buying Amplitude 5, Amplitude Max um, when it's on sale. It'll probably be on sale on Black Friday. I got it for 99 um, like a year or so ago, and it came with all the Fender stuff. It came with everything except the Mesa add-on, which I bought later, which was like on sale for 25 bucks or something. You just gotta keep your eye out on that stuff and be a nerd like me, so. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope I didn't bore you. I'm sorry if I did. I hope you uh, are, uh, I hope you are intrigued and maybe you'd like to go get Amplitube and try this amp out. Or maybe go buy one. That'd be even cooler. Till next time.